Good day to you, Jason here, Birchfield Family Farm. We are just west of Oxford, Ohio, on the Ohio-Indiana state line. We do grass-fed Red Devon cattle, St. Croix sheep. Uh, we're a St. Croix sheep a registered breeder. We sell breeding stock and chickens, all within a rotational grazing system here. I have a good word for you today. This is from Proverbs 14. He who fears the Lord has a secure fortress, and for his children it will be a refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, turning a man from the snares of death. Hey, we've got a nasty one today. It's uh, pretty chilly, mid-40s, and uh, the rain the rain is coming down. Uh, it is a perfect day, though, to apply Johnson Sioux compost extract. I promised you guys a video on that and I'm going to deliver on that uh, today. Uh, this is a setup for a very small application. We're, we're going to be applying to quarter or quarter acre paddocks. Uh, if you're interested in scaling this and applying on a larger level, maybe you're a row cropper, check out Jay Young at Young Red Angus. I believe he's out of Kansas. And Corey Falk, I believe that's how you say that, out of Montana. Uh, both those guys are on YouTube. Both of them are scaling Johnson Sioux uh, and applying that um, on very large acreage, hundreds, hundreds of acres, uh, and, and scaling that on a row crop uh, application here. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what we, we're doing here. Okay, so this is the rig that we've come up with. Uh, this is a Gen 2 here, uh, our first generation. You know, we basically just set the tank on the little wagon here and just had a, a boom similar to this. But uh, we had it coming down too low and it was, it was you know, hitting the, the ground in spots. Uh, and also the tank was kind of sliding around. It just was not, was not an ideal setup. So this is kind of, uh, we made a few modifications here. Uh, just going over this real quick, 35 gallon tank, just a, a couple unions here. One, so I can take this tank off and then take the, the wood base off and leave that intact. So that, that kind of drops down. Uh, just, this is all scrap wood, fence boards. We just rig this thing together, but basically that, that tank is secure in there. It's not going to slide around. You want a shut off valve, uh, so you can, uh, shut this off going uh, going to wherever you're going if you've got liquid in the tank uh, And then also this is going to allow us to adjust uh, The flow, you know coming out of this thing this union here is to take the, the boom off here and basically You know this has eighth inch holes uh, up underneath there. Okay that are drilled, you know every inch inch and a half We're just gonna we're just gonna put this out over the the length of that uh, that pipe there but also uh, we want to be able to mix our extract up and and recirculate so we need to take that be able to take that off to have this going in a uh, an old mineral tub and uh, we'll get that going here let's uh, let's make a batch of this up uh, we have four pounds johnson sioux compost here this is from our batch that we made uh, i'll put a link uh, to a video here uh, going over that, how we uh, constructed that pile, the length of time. We had some tests, did some tests on that, and proved, proved that it was uh, almost a, a two to one fungal to bacterial ratio. So we're taking that compost, the ratio for that compost is two pounds of compost to 20 gallons of water to make an extract. You, you know, your compost is only as good as, uh, you know, the way that you can effectively apply it. And so, I tell you, some of the claims on this Johnson Sioux extract are, are just downright extraordinary. Too good not to experiment with and, and to at least try. Uh, and so, you know, the key here is we want to take, you know, for every two pounds, have the 20 gallons of liquid and somehow mix that up. And, and you're, you're, this is not a compost tea, okay? It's not a tea. We're looking to... Uh, uh, knock off the microbes from this stuff and, and put those down on pasture. And, and those microbes, those bugs, uh, whatever you want to call them, the claim here, this, this is by Dr. David Johnson himself, the claim is that 20 gallons of this extract made correctly and put down in furrow will yield the equivalency of 140 pounds of nitrogen 
per acre. I, I'm a numbers guy and I like running numbers. And so one of these piles here, you know, we went, we went over those numbers. It gives us about 2000 pounds, about one ton of finished compost. You know, if, if you need uh, two pounds of that uh, and you mix that with 20 gallons and you apply that extract uh, for every acre, you could do a thousand acres with, with one of those uh, Johnsons to one of our pallet, pallets of compost. Uh, a thousand acres and so you know let's let's put a, a number to that uh, in terms of uh, uh, nitrogen fertilizer most uh, row croppers around here are using anhydrous ammonia the, the prices on anhydrous have been all over the place you know the past uh, few years here but uh, you know let's just conservatively say 50 cents a pound hydrous is only 82 percent nitrogen if this pile is going to give us an extract the ability to treat a thousand acres and put down 140 pounds of nitrogen, the equivalency on all thousand acres, we've got 140,000 units of nitrogen there. Um, we're, we're looking at uh, a, a, an economic value in extract over $85,000 uh, in one of those uh, Johnson Sioux uh, uh, compost bins that we build in the fall just leaves uh, leaves and, and, and letting them letting them do their thing you know it's it's the biology that's doing that it's not actual nitrogen but it's it's the biological equivalency that's that's giving us that that boost there rain continues to come down here um, let's uh, let's get this we've got this four pounds of uh, compost let's get that going uh, we'll show you how we're gonna uh, do this extraction and and get this put down okay so the first thing we're gonna be doing here is uh, putting in non chlorinated water uh, into this four pounds of compost uh oh well, mr. wormy let's get him out of there taking a very simple paddle mixer on a drill put your drill on high just simply mix this up Set a timer here, we'll be five minutes. Next up, we've taken our boom off of here. We've got a bucket hanging here. We've got a hole in that bucket at the base. We're gonna take our uh, mixed up chocolate cake liquid and put it through here and strain it into the tub. Once I have everything in the, that was a paint strainer bag, uh, remove it from the bucket. You're gonna spin that paint strainer bag. Uh, you've got all the all the goodies, the solids in here, and just tie that thing off and put that thing uh, in the liquid. So, uh, we're gonna close our valve and uh, fill our tank. Uh, again, this is uh, this is unchlorinated water. So this is uh, this is water uh, coming from our windmill, that well back there. Got our tank a little over halfway full. Go ahead and sand and drop that in. Next step is getting this pump going here. There we go. And we got our bag in there. So what we want to do is we want to start circulating water now. Try and uh, get this valve adjusted. Go ahead and open that up, Sam. So letting some out of there. Let's try and get this whole thing adjusted so we're just continuously pumping. We want this bag to be directly underneath where this water's coming out. Okay, and then once you got this thing going here uh, and everything's set right, uh, you can pretty much walk away from it and, uh, you know, give it a good 15, 20 minutes here of uh, circulating. And then when we're done, we'll pump everything into the tank, close the valve, and top it off with uh, the unchlorinated water. Okay, so then I'm just going to squeeze this bag, pull this up, squeeze, get the rest of the, the juice out of this thing, and I'm just going to discard this bag. We'll mix that back in with the compost. We put it in the worm bin, shut that valve off, and I'm gonna pump everything down, put everything back uh, into the tank. We're headed out to our worst paddock here, uh, paddock number eight. Okay, we hooked our union up here, our boom's ready. Let's see if we can get this valve set. It's not sure if you can see that on camera or not, but everything's coming out. It looks like it's working. It's uh, wobb wobbling around pretty good there. I could use a few more supports, I suppose. Okay, so I'm going to have him kind of concentrate and stay in this area here. You can see we've hit, ran chickens real hard in this area just because uh, it, it's just 
it's just never been great out here. And uh, they, they had corn out here, I know, at one point in time. You can still see where they plowed. And uh, you know that, that plowing, that tilling, that's going to oxidize that organic matter. Uh, it's just no good. So looking at this thing, it's doing a pretty decent job. I think I will probably cut that pipe and move that, that, that elbow there. I'll move that back towards the wagon. There's no reason to have it that far back. You know, it's, it's bouncing around quite a bit. But uh, other than that, not bad for a Gen 2. Getting it put down here. Rain's let up. Chickens are like, what in the world are you morons doing? Okay, so 10, 10, 15 minutes or so to, you know, put this down. Uh, not a, not a huge deal. Uh, goes down pretty easy. Again, having that valve to kind of control that flow helps out. Uh, but uh, I think we can make improvements for a, a Gen 3 here. Uh, we're, we're just getting into this. Uh, we're not experts, but uh, we're just ordinary folks giving it a try here. And, uh, you know, be interesting to see uh, if we see anything uh, here the next spring. With the microbiometer, in addition to testing your regular compost, you can also test uh, compost extract. And so we did that with this batch of, of our extract. A little disappointed, 21.6 micrograms of carbon per milliliter. You can see our microbial counts are, are lower there. So we went back to the old trusty microscope, uh, brought in some just regular samples of compost, put them under the microscope, and we were just teeming with, with life everywhere. Uh, nematodes, uh, testate amoebas, uh, fungal spores, fungal strands, uh, looked really good, just the regular compost. So I think we're having trouble getting from the compost to the extract. Uh, I think we could, we could let the, the solution run longer, uh, just, just really kind of stepping back and brainstorming ways to, to improve those numbers. You know, it's not just the higher yields uh, with less inputs here uh, on the Johnson Sioux extract. Uh, there are uh, numerous other benefits as well to using uh, this biology correctly. You know, one of the, the fascinating things that I've recently heard is uh, there's a, a parasitic fungus uh, that, that can infect uh, wheat, uh, a commercial crop of wheat, and it's called stripe rust. And they're finding now that applying this Johnson Sioux extract as a foliar spray will actually, uh, you, you've got the good guys from this extract that, that actually get into the stomata of the wheat plant and stop uh, this stripe rust. Uh, pretty, pretty fascinating. You know, it makes me think around here that there's just, there's so much field corn uh, that's grown in my area. And I know a big, a big thing to do with field corn uh, is actually to send in the, the, the airplanes, the aerial sprayers, and they're putting down a, a fungicide, and there's all kinds of uh, problems with that. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've uh, seen it uh, drift and, you know, not really get on where it should, you know, depending on what the wind's doing. Not always a great situation. Plus, you've got the, all the costs to that uh, fungicide, and so I'm, I'm often wondering, you know, what about this extract? You know, could that, could that even help with the, uh, the corn fungus issues uh, as well as the the wheat uh, that they found. So uh, pretty neat stuff here, kind of the, the tip of the iceberg in terms of, <clears throat> you know, biology and, and latest developments here on uh, soil health. And, uh, you know, uh, we're into it here for, for soil health and well-being. And, uh, you know, I'm after, uh, I'm after human health, uh, human health and well-being, well-being of the family. And uh, that, uh, that, that starts with the soil. Thanks for hanging with me today. And uh, be blessed today, be at peace, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Take care.